Cyprus Insight. Today we're driving through Kitty. Joel's asked us to have a look around. So we thought we'll have a drive through. Maybe stop off here and there if we see something interesting. It's quite a busy little high street this. It's got the usual coffee shops and much more actually. It's a fish and chip shop. I think there's a sushi bar we've passed ages ago. We'll be passing that again. Ice cream parlours and waffles. So it really is quite a busy little high street. Quite long as well. place guys very tidy very nice I'll call it a village or town really more of a town I think before all towns and villages have their refugee area and they're quite quaint little houses that they built after 1974 let's go and have a look shall we right Aos Kyriakos here we are Looks like quite a modern church. Yeah. And I do believe there's more than one church in Kitty. Sorry about the wind. It's a bit breezy today, but it's a lovely day. Oh, here comes a plane. There he goes. Right, one moment, we'll catch it at coming over the church, shall we? There we are. Our tourist season has officially started. And I do believe that's a Russian plane. Aero flop or something, aero something it said. There it goes. Now the airport's not too far away, so this area does tend to have a lot of air traffic. Right, now then, let's go and have a quick nose. Now it's built in 2007, this place. So guys, there is a beach down here. I think it's at the back here somewhere. And uh, we have been to the beach many years ago. I think it was on a green Monday where you fly your kites and I was flying my kite. I did get told off by one of the guys looking after the sunbeds. He told me that I will possibly be hitting one of the planes with my kite well I know my string was long but I don't think it was that long still never mind all right so that's a lovely church isn't it and we'll have a look at the fresco above the door opposite is the refugee area I'll show you that in a minute and I'll show you how I can tell. Yeah, lovely fresco, look at that. Right, so that was completed in 2007. And I'll show you the 
refugee area. There, you see the little bungalows or prefabs, you can call them. We used to have prefabs after the war in England. There you go. Quite a lot of them have been bought up now and totally refurbished or knocked down and new houses built in their place. Right, so we'll go this way. I've been told by my crew I've got to go this way. Here we are. You see, that one there, there's the original little bungalow and they've added this extension on. Yeah, some of them are still original. That one over there is a totally new house. So they've knocked it down, put another one in its place. You see, there's the new one and there's the original one there, next door. There you go. There's another load over there. Right, so that's a big bell tower on that one. Right, let's go on, see what else we can find in Kitty. Or Giddy. Right. So that was quite interesting. And we'll carry on. We'll go back up towards the high street. I want to do a left. See what else we can find. Busy High Street, lots of cars. Right, let's go. Okay. Let's carry on through. Oh, another ice cream parlour. This is a good place. That's Fredo's, I think it's called Pizza Place. That's really nice, guys. We've been there several times. And look, there's a fancy roundabout at the end. It's all paved now. How about that? Look at that. Okay, let's go right. Ah, you can get to the camel park from here wants to go and visit some camels. Popular tourist attraction. Look at that pub. Nice pub isn't it? Now what we'll do, we'll go straight and we'll show you this quaint little church here. So I've parked outside the old church guys. St. Anagiri, I think it might be open and they do beautiful weddings out here and it's from the 12th century but now that is old isn't it oh it looks like they've got a lovely little cafe there as well look in the grounds and they do weddings here the wedding here is quite nice guys we've been to one here and what they do they have their wedding in the chapel obviously or in the church and in the grounds which I'll show you later they put out nibbles and things and you can go and see the bride and groom and give your blessing to them and then have your nibbles and go off home 
So that sounds great, doesn't it, guys? Right. Oh, look at the bell. Isn't that good? They put a new chain on there and then the original old rope. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Right. Oh, wow. This is nice, isn't it? Hello. Is it okay? So, we've got the old K2 video, guys, because this is a really old church. And you can see it been restored in the past and there's this beautiful old cross here look it's massive not sure why it's so large and then there you go so Sue's just lit a candle for our dearly parted oh man this is gorgeous look at that and there's a dome and there's a bit of the fresco left in the middle look there And the altar up the top, which looks original, but I'm not sure. If it's not, it's quite old. There it is. So the video will be quite dark, guys. I hope you can see some of it. And this is where the priest would be. Okay. Oh, this is really a beautiful church. The top area up there. I'm not sure where the stairs are. To it, let's go and have a look. There we are. I think that's an old tomb by the looks of it. And they put glass on top. Oh, here's the stairs. There's the stairs over there. Let's go up to the viewing gallery or the top floor. I'm not sure, but over in England, the rich would be able to come up here on the Sunday service. And your common people will be sitting downstairs. I'm not sure it's the same over here. There we are. It's a bit brighter up here, isn't it? What, what a lovely little window, look. There it is. Loads of icons here. Let's go downstairs now, back down the stairs. And these are quite modern. Oh, you can see the old ones next to new modern stairs. There's the old ones. Okay. Let's have a look. Look, and they've blocked off every other chair or pew whatever it's called because of the covid restrictions right it looks like this is all original okay
Right, so we're back outside in these lovely gardens. Look at this old tree. As I said, they do weddings here. And of course, most of the year it's dry and warm. So you can have your guests coming out here. Look in these beautiful gardens with a fountain. Lovely oak tree there. Oh no, it's not, it's an olive tree, beg your pardon. Lovely olive tree. There we are, conifers. Isn't it beautiful? There are someone enjoying the garden there. So we'll go and have a look around, shall we? There's a playground over there. Right. Right. right, let's head back towards the high street, shall we? There's a lovely puppet right in the corner here. Oops, oops. Just cut the corner, she is. Do be careful in Cyprus guys, quite a lot of people tend to cut the corners. It must be a tradition or something. Anyway. Looks like there's an old uh, house there being renovated. Do a left at this roundabout. Beautiful gardens here on the left. I think it's a police station. So the residence guys of Kitrion came here to escape an Arab invasion and that is why it's called Kitty. Okay, so there's a little bit of history for you. And I think it's 11 square kilometers this town. I'm calling it a town actually because it looks like a town. It's got quite a few pharmacies and all sorts of stuff. But let's call it a town, shall we? Now they have found some tombs guys that date back 2,000 years before Christ on Kitty. 1881 the population was just 673 and we've got 1973 increasing to 1160 and in 1976 after the war we've got 1779 last recorded in 2001 we've got over 3,300 occupants so it's quite big and it's not far from Larnaca that's a lovely trendy coffee bar again coffee island another trendy coffee shop well this is the place to be guys looks like Cypress building. Show some of their properties further down in another video. The Pizza Hut. I'm just coming out, Kitty, now. I can't go too slow, guys, because there's a lot of traffic. But here we are, beautiful old conifers all along this road leading out to Menu. 
so this is menu now yeah, so if you're in the restaurant and you say menu you're, they might say to you hmm, yes sir you are in menu what would you like no the menu yes sir you are in menu what would you like Oh, there's airport parking here. As I said before, there's no, it's not far from the airport. to the airport I thought I'd come and drive through just so I'll give you guys a little reminder of what it was like so where are we gonna go arrivals or departures let's just stay on arrival shall we due to COVID so we'll just drive round doesn't look like a lot going on guys but there was an aircraft coming in we saw it didn't we from Russia that was Taxi ranks fairly empty. There's a few taxis there, and normally they're all parked up on the left, hundreds of them. Yeah. Yeah, they are expecting a flight in, but uh, as I said, there's only a few people waiting. There are, they're coming out people coming out now and on our left here is the coach car park so a couple of mini buses in there now but they're probably let's slow down a bit probably be quite a few coaches there in a few weeks time Big circle. And there's a conveniently located, no, not bench, guys, a petrol station on our left here, just as you leave the uh, airport. So if you're bringing back a hire car, you're picking one up and you need some juice, it's right here. Oh, that's good just before you get to the high road or the main road should I say right, we'll do a left there we are and this is the main highway and, and actually this is the beginning of the highway that will take you all the way down to Ayanapa Right guys, we're on the outskirts of Kitty and we're looking for the dam. We've just come across this quaint little church, I'll show you it in a minute. I'm just showing you the landscape, it's beautiful. There it is. 
We just spotted it on the top of this hill. So I thought we'd drive to it and see if we can locate the dam. And I can't see it anywhere. Anyway, we will we'll find it. Anyway, let's have a look at the little church first, shall we? Before we proceed towards the dam and the river. Let's see if we can get in. Right, here we are. It is open. Right, there we are. What a beautiful little church. left behind and then plastered round. There we are. There. Yeah, beautiful little church on the hill top. Right, let's shut the door, shall we? Okay, not sure of the church name. I'll have a look at the front. I went through the side door. I don't know if it's got a front door. Right, right. I've just been told by my research team it's St George's. There you are. I love the little windows, round windows up there. Pickup truck parked here with a chap in it. It's probably come for his tea break. Take the view. Beautiful up here, isn't it? Right, so it's a bit windy. So we'll head onto the river. Look at this old olive tree. It's been fenced off for some reason. Must be really old. They fenced it off to protect it. Fields have been harvested. Now if you'd look down there, you probably won't be able to see it from this camera, but you can see the lighthouse of Pervolia. We went down there the other day and filmed. What a beautiful place that is. Ray, we found the dam, guys, or the reservoir, should we say. Right, 36 hectares, wow. Now, what is that? 1.6 million cubic meters of water, and it's 16 meters high. There we are. Oh, and there's the villages that benefit, guys. Okay. All right, and it looks like it was built in 1964. That's 54 years ago. No, it's 56 years ago. I should know. Same time as me. It's as old as me, this. Right, so here we are. Now, is this part of the river, do you think? Right, so we think that this is part of the river coming out. There it is there, you see? And there's some steps going up to the reservoir. So we're gonna go up the stairs and have a look around. It's very quiet, guys. Nobody here, we've just parked the car over there. I don't think this is a major tourist attraction as such. But, uh, we'll make it into one, shall we? Yes, why not? Everybody come down to Kitty and visit the reservoir stroke dam. God, there's enough steps. It's very high. Not for the faint-hearted, the 
it's not a cable car, it's not an escalator. Definitely good to work off our big breakfast. Right, it's going to get windy guys. Oh, it's empty. Oh my word, didn't expect this. Looks like they're repairing it or something. Right, well let's go to the sluice gates and see what's going on guys. I'm not sure what's happened here. I think it's under construction or it's been decommissioned. Some of the Somewhere around here should be the sluice gates. We're going that way. Let's have a look. I'm not sure around there where the water retaining wall is supposed to be. Unless they've taken it down or they're rebuilding it. I'm not sure. There's no signs up or anything. Right. at these sluice gates guys see what's going on perhaps it's this valley here you can see yeah it's this valley here where the water is or was and it looks like they're doing some repairs on the wall over there you see unless they decommissioned it totally we're not sure Oh, here we are. There's the sluice gates. Here we are. Let's dry on that side and dry on that side. I think it's been decommissioned. Can't be too sure, guys. Oh, yes. We'll get out of this way, yeah. Okay, guys. Gonna go down another set of steps. Show you where it's been dammed off. Right, let's just go around here. Where well, there's another set of stairs. There we are. Yeah. Now I wonder if, if the body of water was normally on this side rather than that side over there. See what I mean? Here. And it's quite small, isn't it? It says 16 metres high. It's about right, guys. So it might have been here. Not sure. Anyway, it's beautiful trees round here. Beautiful countryside. Well worth a visit. Nice for a picnic. By the way, one of our crew. There we are wearing inappropriate shoes they're uh, like black plimsolls and we've got gravel now I did bring with me sorry interrupting the video oh straight or left oh straight okay right I did bring with me some shorts because it's a glorious day and some trainers so they're appropriate shoes We've just going to forgive our crew for wearing non-appropriate shoes because we had to go to the funeral of my auntie, lovely lady, Auntie Maria. And I do believe she was the same age as Prince Philip, 99. We're not sure because I don't think she knew... She, 
Oh, one moment, I got interrupted there. It's either 98 or 99, but she, we're not sure because she didn't know her date of birth herself. There you go. So she had a lovely send off. Well deserved. Lovely lady. And she made baskets and heart handicraft for everybody. I think the whole family has got at least one basket of hers. And she used to crochet tablecloths. I do believe I've got one of hers. Beautiful tablecloth handmade. And the priest gave her a good send off, I think. Right, we're back to the car. See, and there's an old church there. That's down there. That looks really old. The pillars are on the outside. That's all locked up at the moment. So yeah, there you go. You see? That's the old reservoir. I, I've got a feeling that this part is the reservoir. And they're repairing the walls on the other side. It doesn't say anything on the board. No. So, there you go. Well guys, we're back on the highway on the way home. I hope you enjoyed that visit to Kitty. Definitely a nice little town and interesting reservoir without any water. Anyway, hope you liked it as I say. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.